the Paul Pratt Memorial Library today in Cohasset, Massachusetts. I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough of my show, Restorative Places, which opened. The reception was last Sunday afternoon, and it's going to be up now through December 31st inside the meeting room with the library hours for the winter here. Welcome. We're inside the meeting room. And I'll just give you a tour of the pieces I have here at the show. There are 23 in total. I have a combination of monotypes with encaustic on rice paper, as well as encaustic works. Some have mixed media, some do not. This one is deep within, which is encaustic oil, ink, and paper on wood. This one I call Snow Glow, which is encaustic and ink on rice paper. We have this large diptych I did here, which is also encaustic on rice paper along with some pigment stick. And that's called Sunrise Sunset. I apologize for the glare on the glass pieces. Vernal Pond is the title of this one. And I have low tide rocks. And if you can see up here, this one's called Cedars. All three of these are all encaustic on panel. This larger one does also have some mixed media in it. Over here I have another monotype called Globe Amaranth. If you get up close, you can see those globes. If you're a gardener, you'll know what I mean. And we have January. Gives you that feel for that time of year. Reflection is the title of this one. This one I named Dune at, or excuse me, Dusk at the Shore. On this one I have embedded some of my photography of stones at my beach, Nantasket Beach, combined with the encaustic and the dusky skies actually has a quite a bit of oil pigment stick in it, which works beautifully with the encaustic. Here we have Through the Trees, which is encaustic and ink on rice paper. Pondering by the Pond is what I call this one. If you can picture yourself on maybe a spring or early summer day sitting by the water and you'll see a pink sky reflected in the water as long as well as some trees in a more abstract fashion that's also encaustic on rice paper this piece i call my view you'll see i'm alluding to a window along with a garden. I'll give you some close-ups here so you can see all the texture and the wax and the pigment that's in the wax. My view. The name of the 
this show again is Restorative Places and it's based upon much of my memories and my experiences during the COVID lockdown and during our whole pandemic that we've had the past couple of years. A little story behind it. Also a little description about encaustic since many of you and most people do not know what encaustic painting is. Here's another encaustic piece on wood which I've called Good Morning Fog. I have another shore piece based on my beach, Nantasket Beach, where I live close to, and it's called Crystal Blue. Above that, I have another very familiar scene from around here, which is a view of World's End from my town Hull, and I'm calling that Signs of Spring. And if I can get a close-up for you here, expanding in, you'll see that familiar green rolling hills on the bay with the beautiful tree line in the background, framed by the sky. Here's a piece that developed out of my imagination uh, based on a poppy a field um, on a hillside close to my house that I walk by um, and happens to be um, in bloom or starting to bloom every spring and I named it Summer Dream. I've embedded some of my photos of those poppies that aren't quite in bloom yet into this piece, which is my initial inspiration for starting this piece. And I developed it much further from there. Once again, that's Summer Dream. Here's the piece that I chose for my artwork, for all my promo material for this show. And it is called A Day at the Lake. And this one is based on my property that I attend in Maine, but it certainly could be anyone's lake anywhere because I have seen quite a similar scene in a lot of different places I've lived and been to in my life. And once again, that is called A Day at the Lake, which is encaustic ink and collage on wood. The piece just above that I call Imagine. And it is definitely imaginary. <laughs> Um, I created it based on rainbows and sunsets and field grass glistening in the sun. And that is encaustic ink paper on wood. The one above that is roughly based on Pettix Island in Hull and more, even more so on Hull Gut, which is the waterway between um, the peninsula of Hull and the island across the way called Pettix Island. It's a familiar popular spot to go and fish because the currents are quite strong there. It's also where you'll see large shipping containers and oil tankers pass through um, to access Boston Harbor. So that's Pettix Island Hull Gut, encaustic and paper on wood. And to round off the show, I have these monotypes on paper. This one is called Dapple Sunlight, which is just encaustic on rice paper. 
and it gives you that feeling of sunny days during the summer where the light is just glistening off the water. That's why I named it Dappled Sunlight. The one above it is called Heat in the Summer, or excuse me, In the Heat of Summer, also encaustic on rice paper, based upon, again, a field that seems blazing with sunshine and skies that are blue with puffy white clouds passing through that you might see in the late of summer and just give you that feeling in the heat of summer. And last but not least above that, I have a piece that I named Docks and Moorings. The monotype or the encaustic on the paper in the lower forefront reminds me of a dock jetting out into the water. And then there tends to be the white and the blue. It could be any fishing boat passing by, just alludes to it, kind of a shadow, a lightened shadow on the horizon. Docks and moorings. So again, there are 23 pieces in the show. I do hope you can make it out to the Paul Pratt Memorial Library, which is located at 35 Ripley Road, Cohasset, Massachusetts, also known as the Cohasset Library. Thank you.